Right, so I'm going to start off with moisturising first and I'm going to go in with my La Roche Posay. It's a gel cream for like dry skin. So I'm just going to go in with that. So for this look, I want to go for quite a dewy, glowy look, but I still, I'm still going to use a matte primer because your girl's pores are too big for life. Right, so yeah, as you might have seen in my last video, I did say that I'm, I'm going to start like doing more videos so please just like if you watch this video please just comment something let me know what you want to see and I will try and do it for you so that's all in right so usually when I like do a base of like moisturizer I go in with brows just to let it like soak in right so like always I'm gonna go in with my NYX Tame and Frame I'm gonna do like quite a thick brow today Right, so now brows are on, I'm going to carve them out and I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution concealer and it is in shade C10. Um, I'm just going to put that on the back of my hand. Carving out my brows is something that I don't do on an everyday basis, but because this look is going to be flawless, I'm going to do it. I feel like when you carve your brows out anyway, it just makes the look look so much more put together. Okay, so now the brows are done, what I've got left on the back of my hand, I'm just going to put on my eyelid as an eyeshadow base. Um, just. I do this because it works and just so you don't waste any concealer. I really want to use this blue. It's this blue eyeshadow from Obsession. And it is so pigmented. I love this colour. So I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Pro Palette. This is the palette Intoxicate. Um, and I'm going to just use this shade here to as a transition colour. And to make my eyes look bigger, because I have got a hooded eye, I'm going to really drag the shadow into this bit here, just to make the eye look bigger. And I'm going to really blow it out. This is like the first time using this palette and it's actually quite pigmented. I've just used the transition shade but it looks so nice. It's probably not showing up on camera because I am using natural daylight. And it does wash me out like I don't have any colour at all but IRL it is looking really nice and then I'm going to use a different clean blending brush um, just to blend out the edges on that just so it's super 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 seamless and blended I want this look to be flawless okay so next I'm gonna go in with this shade here in the same palette look how pigmented that is like literally and I'm just gonna define the crease a little bit more. And the brushes that I usually use in all my videos is either the Zoeva um, brushes or the BH Cosmetic brushes. You see what I mean by the hooded eye? Like, if I do that, you can see the colour, but if I do that, like, some of it goes. So I'm just going to go higher there and with that I look straight into the mirror. And I'm still going all the way into this little whatever it's called. And I'm just going to keep building up, blending, building up, blending until I get the uh, desired look that I want. And I'm literally just going to go in with my finger. Like, look how beautiful this colour is. Oh, it's so nice. And I'm going to put that straight on the lid. Look at how stunning it. Right, doesn't look that much now, but when I have my lashes on, it will look okay. But look at how pigmented it is. Oh, so nice. I'm literally just going to keep building it up until 
I have no shadow left. <laughs> Jokes. I'm just gonna keep building it up until I have the effect that I want and then I'm gonna blend. Not to mention, these Obsession eyeshadows are only £3 from Boots and you can also make up your own palette because um, the eyeshadows do, ugh, they do come out. The eyeshadows do come out and you can make your own eyeshadow palette. Okay, so before I do eyeliner and lashes, I'm going to prime with my Makeup Revolution Pro um, primer and this is the pore primer that they do. I really do like this one. It makes your skin feel so soft. When you're using like greens on your eye, you want to make sure that your under eye is absolutely flawless because it does make your eyes look darker. So I'm going to conceal like I've never concealed before. And the reason I'm priming now is when I, by the time I've done my eyeliner and everything, it will be like all set and sunken in and nice. Right, so like always, I'm going to be using my Maybelline gel eyeliner. I never use liquid, I always use gel. I can't use liquid, I really can't. This eyeliner is so old and thick. I'm surprised I can actually even do eyeliner with it. Right, so lashes are on and so is the eyeliner. So now I'm gonna be going in with my Primark perfect colour foundation um, and I'm going to be blending that in with a beauty blender what do you guys do do you do your edges first and then you and then your makeup or do you do your makeup and then your edges because I find when I do my edges and then my makeup I get foundation in my edges but then if I do my makeup and then edges and use the gel and the toothbrush, it just looks all like gunky and kind of gross. So I don't know what you guys do. Let me know in the comments. I want this, I want my base to be really full coverage. So I'm flawless. So I'm putting quite a bit on. You don't need this much, but I want this much. Okay, so for concealer, I'm gonna mix two concealers. I'm gonna use my NARS Radiant Creamy and then my Makeup Revolution. Just because I feel like my NARS Radiant Creamy is more yellow and this is more pink. So just to even them out, I'm gonna use both. And just because I wanna be extra. For me, I don't really like too much of a highlighted under eye so I do like to get concealers that are close to my skin tone to like conceal with and highlight so as you can see it's like kind of blending in and that is that's what I like that's what I prefer so Okay, and just because I am extra and I want a bit more coverage, I'm just going to go back in with my NARS, just along these lines here because, and I'm running out of this, this, I love this concealer, it is my favourite. I'm going to finish off the under eyes. I'm going to be going in with my usual Makeup Revolution contour palette and with contour I literally just do that I 
I want a really sharp contour. I want cheekbones for this year, thanks. I'm gonna go in with my Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion. Okay, so for inner corner highlight, I'm gonna be going in with my Violet Voss palette and using this shade, and this shade is Ploof, and I'm gonna be putting that on my inner corner. Kind of like a pinky champagne. Then lastly, just moving on to lips, I'm going to be going in with my Kiko lip liner. It's a nude, well it's not, it's not a nude, it's like a mauve. And I'm just going to be outlining my lips. For me, I kind of like the no cupid's bow look. I don't know why, I just do. So I'm gonna, I've got a really good cupid's bow, like it goes like that. So I'll just like go over it so it's not as noticeable. Lipstick is gonna be the Jeffree Star shade in Daddy. 